Hey guys, Bryson with Trick Tools here, and I'm going to show you guys the Swag Off-Road Hulk Roll Bender. So uh, this machine is a stout, small package machine that allows you to do roll bending uh, for a pretty wide variety of bending uh, applications, materials, uh, that sort of thing. So uh, for starters, uh, this machine is a manual operated machine, uh, although it does have a power option, which I'll explain later. And um, it's construction, all these plates here are quarter inch uh, steel plates. Uh, the axles for the rollers are all hardened chromoly. And uh, it's a pretty well built, heavy duty machine to be able to last you a long time over and over and over again uh, to be able to get your roll bending jobs done. So um, I guess some of the other uh, obvious features are the hand crank here, which then uh, turns the upper wheel, which is inside of here. Uh, and then you have these two outer rollers here that go on the bottom side of the tube. So there's these notches in the frame so you can spread out and change the location of these rolls. And that's all gonna be dependent on, uh, say your material size, uh, how thick material uh, you're bending, uh, or maybe how tight of a radius you're trying to achieve or how you know, broad of a radius you're trying to achieve. So um, you have to take those things into account and uh, there's a it's powered with a bottle jack here. So there's a little two-ton bottle jack mounted inside uh, And that's what you use to actually put more pressure down on the material as you're rolling uh, to be able to obviously create that roll bend so um, You get that there then you have the um, Digital readout uh, which is on the back of the machine here, there's a little uh, gauge uh, with a little track that it moves on uh, to give you a readout. And then you have uh, this readout here that you can, uh, it's magnetic. So you can stick it uh, a variety of different places to be able to get your readout depending on how you're rolling, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so once you get you know the machine set up, you get your material in here. Uh, so we have inch and a half round tube dies in here right now. So I'm going to stick this piece of inch and a half tube in the machine and going to just line it up right on this uh, roll here. We're going to put a little bit of down pressure on it to kind of lock it into the machine here. And the digital readout here allows you to be able to do repeat bends. So um, what you want to do is, you know, find a zero point and then when you do find that zero point, which uh, if you get it down to where your dies are all touching the material and it's all held in there, um, you know, to where there's no uh, wiggle room in the part, you know, up and down, it's got a nice firm uh, placement of your tube in there. You can zero this out and that's your starting point. That way, as soon as you start going down on the bottle jack and putting more pressure, uh, when you find the point where you like the radius of your bend, and then you want to take that tube out and duplicate it another, you know exactly what number on the digital readout you need to go to uh, to be able to duplicate that bend. So um, yeah, for this, for starters, like I said, you just go through and you'll crank this through like that. Uh, one thing you always want to make sure you do uh, is just put a little bit of like a bending lubrication on the rollers. So that's gonna keep the rollers from potentially uh, marring your material um, or causing any damage to the rollers uh, themselves uh, also. So um, once you get that through there, like I said, you can put a little more pressure down on here um, just to basically, the with this machine uh, and with any roll bender, the smaller increments and the more rolls back and forth you go, the cleaner and the more um, consistent your product is going to turn out. So if you just try to go in, put a ton of down pressure on it and try to achieve your radius in one, you know, back and forth roll, um, you might get close to there, but the overall end product is not going to be as nice as what it could be. So, um, yeah, so go ahead and roll this around, get it back to the end here. Um, so as far as the rolls are concerned, this machine has a capacity on regular round tube material of up to two and a half inch. Um, and um, on square tubing, it's two inches. And on 
uh, pipe size, it's up to two inch pipe as well. Um, there's a variety of different tooling options available for it, which I'll cover. Um, so at this point, uh, the only other option on this machine uh, besides the manual option is that they do, we do have an adapter available that will put a pipe thread uh, uh, deal on here that will allow you to be able to put a pipe thread machine on it, which will then you know, power the bender back and forth. So um, we don't sell the pipe thread machines. We just sell the adapter to be able to use it uh, on this bender. But um, yeah, so let me go ahead and put a little more down pressure on this. Now I've kept these rolls pretty close because this is, uh, I think this is an 090 uh, wall thickness. It's not too thick. Um, just wanted to uh, be able to, the tighter these rolls are together here on the machine, the closer to the end of the tube you can get as you're rolling. So obviously uh, as you know, these rollers are moved out into the different notches, the further distance there is from the center to the end. So the longer uh, distance you'll have out on the end before the bend actually starts. A little more pressure. And you can see how quickly it's already rolling this tube. Okay, so uh, at this point, to talk a little bit about some of the tooling options, there is a ton of tooling options for this machine. So, like I said, up to two inch round tube, uh, two inch square tubing, and uh, two inch uh, pipe size. So, there's also a number of uh, other tooling options that can do other custom or very specific um, material profiles. So uh, this one here allows you to do handrail, uh, like top cap material for handrails. So uh, it'll have a nice kind of a decorative shape in it. And these are machined to that shape. So you can roll those in here and to have uh, your handrails be able to roll around and have that nice top cap. Uh, matched with it. So there's those. This is a one inch by two inch roller uh, for doing one inch by two inch material the hard way. So it would be material would be in here two inches tall and then the one inch this way and then you can actually roll that the hard way which is pretty cool. Um, here we have just our regular inch and a half square tubing die. This is our one inch square tubing die. We have inch and three quarter round. And then these dies are totally flat and these are for doing just flat stock material. So um, these are three inches wide, so you can do up to three inch wide flat stock material. Uh, roll it through there, uh, be able to get some nice uh, radius profiles on there. And this last one here is for doing flat stock the hard way. So there's a number of different grooves in here. You can put that flat stock in here and be able to uh, roll it the hard way uh, with this die. So um, we have up to around 70 different tooling options for this machine. So uh, that's going to include the different types of material. Uh, and then some of these are also available in Delrin. Uh, if you're doing a softer, uh, more fine material to be able to do in the roll bender. So please check out the accessories tab on the product to be able to look at all the different tooling options that we do have available for it. So. Um, if you have more questions on the Swag Off-Road Hulkbender, give us a call or visit our website at tricktools.com and we'll be able to answer any of those questions for you and uh, hopefully uh, get one of these machines in your shop. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.